At the center of our cardiovascular system is the heart. It beats approximately 100,000 times per day. Without time off or a vacation, your heart will beat about 35 million times in a year. Even at rest, the muscles of the heart work hard, twice as hard as the leg muscles of a person sprinting. During an average lifetime, the human heart will beat more than 2.5 billion times. Your heart pumps nearly 1,800 gallons of blood throughout your body every 24 hours. That equals 657,000 gallons per year. During an average lifetime, the heart pumps about 1 million barrels of blood, enough to fill more than three super tankers. Cardiovascular disease affects not only the heart, but also the miles of blood vessels throughout the body. If you were to lay all of the blood vessels in your body end to end, they would extend for 100,000 miles. Think of it. Your vascular network is equal to four times the circumference of the earth. Yet if you're like most people, you have probably not given much thought to the vast network of blood vessels that run throughout your body. Surprisingly, most doctors and cardiologists know very little about blood vessels and vascular disease. Out of the 130 accredited MD-granting U.S. medical schools, there are only about a dozen where vascular medicine is taught. Yet breakthrough discoveries, including the Nobel Prize in medicine, have unequivocally revealed that blood vessels are much more important than anyone ever realized. Wherever blood flows in your body, it flows through blood vessels. Atherosclerosis is the buildup of plaque on the insides of your arteries. Without proper circulation, our cells starve and don't get the necessary energy and information they need to perform correctly. When this happens, every disease known to man may be generated. Medical professionals used to think that plaque would accumulate in the arteries until it completely closed them. That's not correct. We now know that when plaque becomes large and brittle, it can crack and rupture. The crack, like any other cut, in the body clots to stop the bleeding. However, when a clot occurs in the arteries, the result can be catastrophic. We now know that the body is capable of healing itself. Damaged and blocked vessels can open up and function normally again without drugs or surgery. However, as mentioned, most doctors know very little about blood vessels and vascular disease. Instead, they are trained in cardiovascular medicine heavily influenced by Big Pharma. Cardiologists spend much of their time concentrating on the heart as a pump. They learn the skills to perform bypass surgery. About a half a million bypass surgeries are performed in the United States each year, making it one of the most commonly performed major operations. Cardiologists also learn the skills of catheter-based interventions, performing angioplasties and putting in stents. The procedure, introduced in 1977, has grown into an $8 billion a year industry in the USA alone. In 2001, almost 2 million angioplasties were performed worldwide, making angioplasty the most common medical intervention in the world. As mentioned, in 1998, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded for the discovery of a molecule produced in the lining of the blood vessels that keeps them free of plaque. This miracle molecule has been the topic of more than 20,000 medical studies since 1980. The molecule is nitric oxide. The lining of the blood vessels that produces nitric oxide is called the endothelium. It is the innermost layer of tissue that lines the blood vessel. The endothelium is only one cell layer thick. It is so razor thin that it cannot be seen by the human eye. Yet, it has the surface area of eight tennis courts. When you consider that the endothelium lines all 100,000 miles of our blood vessels, amazing if all the endothelial cells in the body were lumped together, they would weigh as much as the liver. The production of nitric oxide is tightly controlled by the tissue that the vessel serves. When the smooth muscle cells that surround the blood vessels are constricted, 
nerve stimulation signals the endothelium to create and release small amounts of nitric oxide directly where it is needed. As a signaling molecule and as a gas, nitric oxide will diffuse freely through cell membranes. Nitric oxide signals the smooth muscle cells to relax and to open up. By causing blood vessels to open up, nitric oxide increases blood flow through them. Nitric oxide is the strongest natural relaxant of blood vessels. The nitric oxide produced in the endothelium is your body's best self-defense against heart attack and stroke. It has been said that you are only as old as your endothelium. A healthy endothelium is slick like Teflon. By contrast, an unhealthy endothelium is sticky like Velcro, causing plaque to attach. When plaque does not stick, clots don't form, blood vessels don't harden, and you won't die from a heart attack or stroke. The amino acid L-arginine is the source the endothelium uses to create nitric oxide. L-arginine is a nitric oxide producer and high potency antioxidant that has power to reverse the buildup of cholesterol in the arteries. The scientific evidence of the benefits of L-arginine and nitric oxide are extensive. The research at Stanford, Harvard, University of South Carolina, National Cancer Institute, National Institute of Health, as well as most cardiovascular centers throughout the world, all point to L-arginine and nitric oxide as perhaps the most important discovery ever in preventing heart disease. In addition to the overwhelming scientific proof, the clinical evidence is equally impressive. Meet Dr. Joe Prendergast. Dr. Joe, as he likes to be called, is board certified in internal medicine as well as endocrinology and metabolism. On June 4, 2008, the American Diabetes Association named Dr. Joseph Prendergast Father of the Year for 2008. At the awards dinner honoring him, Dr. Joe's wife tells the following story. Two years ago, a letter was sent out by the hospital stating that Dr. Prendergast was no longer on the staff because he was dead. This letter proved to be an embarrassment to the hospital as Dr. Joe was alive and well. The hospital wrongfully assumed that Dr. Joe had died because he had not admitted a single patient to the hospital in 16 years. In 1991, Dr. Joe introduced L-arginine into his medical practice. As an endocrinologist, 80% of his patients have diabetes. According to the American Diabetes Association, two out of three people with diabetes will die from heart disease and or stroke. Prior to 1991 and the introduction of L-arginine to his practice, Dr. Joe wrote that 30% of his diabetic patients ended up seeing a cardiologist for bypass procedures. Now, 18 years and 5,000 patients later, Dr. Joe has not lost one patient to a heart attack or stroke, nor has he admitted anyone to a hospital. In addition, prior to 1991, Dr. Joe's practice kept three cardiologists in business with his referrals. After Dr. Joe introduced L-arginine to his patients, the referrals all ended. All three cardiologists went out of business and had to move to new areas to practice cardiology. In his book, Dr. Joe writes, One of my friends and colleagues is a well-respected cardiologist. I used to refer a lot of patients to him. Recently he said to me, Did I do something to offend you? I've noticed that you no longer send patients to me. I said, it's not you. I am not sending my patients to anyone. They don't need cardiologists because we are reversing their heart disease. Finally, not too many of us enjoy growing old. L-arginine is the basic element that represents the best single product to take for anti-aging treatment. L-arginine is the source to nitric oxide, and nitric oxide is 1,000 times more powerful than any other natural antioxidant in the body. Antioxidants neutralize free radicals. So what do free radicals do? 
you just witnessed.